Prior, I was uh, as an insurance adjuster, did a little bit on the contractor side within the insurance field as well. Um, I left the workforce altogether uh, at the end of January and decided at that point in time um, I needed a break. I was burnt out as well as I had already had um, an idea about the program a few months earlier. I just was interested, hadn't really had a chance to really dig into it too much, um, but had kind of decided, okay, I want to do something different uh, career-wise. So uh, ended up having about a month of kind of figuring that out and ultimately decided, yes, I did want to join Talent Stacker. And so I joined right at the beginning of March. Um, and then from there, it was, you know, studying community events uh, within the within Talent Stacker, um, uh, connecting study groups. Um, and then I got certified uh, about three and a half months after I joined the program. So kind of toward the end of June, I guess. Um, and then started on the, uh, the project shortly thereafter, maybe about two, three weeks later. And um, coincidentally, my old employer had reached out to me and asked me to come back. And it was one of those things where I was definitely reluctant to do so because I saw, I saw the end goal, I saw the potential and, and, and knew that uh, I would ultimately be able to land a, a job in the Salesforce ecosystem. Um, you know, at that point in time, it's just like, how long is it going to take? So uh, I, I pushed them. I, <laughs> my hope was I never actually had to go back, but I pushed a date out um, to, I, I want to say mid-August, thinking, okay, that'll give me a little more time. Um, maybe I can land something before that. And, uh, you know, if not, then for financial reasons, you know, I need to go back and start getting some, some income and revenue coming back. Um, uh, you know, <laughs> for me and my family. So, uh, yeah, I ended up going back and, and still staying on track, still interviewing, um, within, um, you know, for Salesforce jobs. Uh, but yeah, I ended up going back and working for about two months, um, prior to leaving. And then, um, obviously then I had to give my notice once I did get my offer and, uh, they were a little shocked and, and, and kind of saddened, but at the same time, um, once I explained, you know, it was a completely, you know, career pivot, uh, you know, really didn't have anything to do with them. It was just, it was all about myself. So, um, you know, they were thankful and appreciative and, you know, no hard feelings. So but everybody's journey is going to be different. Um, you know, there's some people uh, that are, are finishing the program, you know, within a couple months, two, three months, and, and there's other people that are taking, you know, longer to do so. Um, so you, I would say you don't really want to compare yourself necessarily to, to others. You want to, you, you want to know what works for you in your situation. And that's going to be different for every individual. Uh, you know, whether that's, uh, you have a partner or spouse, you have children, um, you know, you're working or you're not working. Uh, ultimately what I found really helped me was organizing my time, uh, both when I was working and when I was not working. Um, ultimately that's what I was able to focus on. Um, and, you know, with that said, it's really a program for, for anybody. It's, it's a program. If you are working, if you're not working, uh, there's different paces, uh, within the program, everybody's not going at the same pace. There's some individuals, um, uh, that are, uh, at a real aggressive pace and, and maybe they've had some Salesforce experience as an end user. And there's other people like myself, when I jumped in, I, I had never, heard of Salesforce until I saw uh, um, uh, a video or, or, a, or a podcast that Bradley was on and, and started doing some research. And um, so, you know, again, there's, there's something for everybody, depending on what you as an individual need and uh, what's going to help you succeed. Um, there's study groups and some study groups are, are studying that faster pace. Some are kind of at an intermediate pace and some at a slower pace. Um, and it's, it's, it's a journey. It's, um, there's resources out there, uh, within the program, uh, everybody with in the, the talent stacker community is, you know, so positive, which is, uh, one of the, the great things about, um, our community and everybody is, you know, striving for the same goal in a sense and, uh, you know, very supportive and positive along the way.
uh, ultimately the way I landed my job, which I don't think I mentioned was, was through networking, through networking on LinkedIn, through networking within the talent stacker community. Um, somebody ha had, had, you know, posted within our, uh, private community group, um, you know, uh, regarding a connection, um, you know, just recommended making connection with an individual on LinkedIn, which I did. And, um, uh, kind of one thing led to another sending a resume and, um, he gave me some feedback and wanted my, uh, the link to my trailhead, um, profile and, you know, see, see what I was doing on there. And, um, you know, before you know it, he's sending me an email back saying, Hey, we're looking to hire, um, you know, a, a handful of individuals and, um, you know, congrats. I, <laughs> I, you know, going to be, uh, you're gonna be on that list. So look forward to, you know, the next an email with the next step. So, um, and then from there it was, you know, a couple interviews a process and a, um, uh, kind of a assessment process as well online. So, uh, but that, that was another powerful, uh, that is another powerful part of the program is just LinkedIn and, and the networking capabilities. And um, no matter if you think you know how to do that on LinkedIn, I, <laughs> I promise you, you're still going to learn, you know, something, even if, if you think you're a pro, uh, which I, I didn't, but I, you know, I thought I did a, knew a decent amount of, of how that worked, but in reality, I had no idea. I, uh, I think I was using LinkedIn, like many people of, you know, just having your, resume up there and uh connecting with people you work with or used to work with um but it's it's there's a lot of power uh and and you learn that through the program and being able to connect with other individuals um you know not only at your level but you want to connect with people where you're looking to get hired where you're looking to to grow uh in terms of your salesforce career and and continuing to to do that even even after um you know, getting the the job, talent stacker, community events, and so that's it was a combination, right? So the events where there's leaders in the Salesforce space coming to do Q and A's or the Ask Me Anything's or let me just give you some advice, especially you know if it's a recruiter in the space, you know, I attend those, take notes. Um, there was one about. Um, uh, branding as well. Um, I mean, there's, there's tons of them. And the great thing is if you can't attend one live, they're, they're recorded and, you know, you can shortly thereafter uh, watch the replay, which I did plenty of that too, because, you know, everybody's schedules are different. You're not going to always be able to, to watch them live, but I found that extremely valuable. And, and Bradley keeps adding in, you know, more and more individuals it seems to be kind of getting higher level higher level individuals too and and um and that also brings me to one other point that i want to say is that i noticed through my journey from starting in march till i got my offer at the end of september is the um the talent stacker name started just spreading and by the time i was getting my offer and, and i can see it even today um, afterwards is, is the, the talent stacker community has a reputation of having individuals that, uh, are, you know, at a high quality, they're certified, they're going through the program, they, they gain experience within the program and the, the project. And, you know, we, we've seen where certain companies are hiring multiple, um, talent stackers, you know, upon graduation from the program, um, you know, at, at their company. So um, I, I think the word is out. And, and that's another great reason to, to join the program is, it, you know, you become an, uh, an alumni of the program and, um, you know, you have that talent stacker stamp on your, um, on your resume. And, and I mean, I think it just, it helps, 